Whoa, duplicates have died. Suffocated to death. Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with uh, oxygen not included. And we're up to 83 dupes here. Uh, oxygen is still looking good in this base, but um, one thing I noticed right after finishing the recording last time was that uh, our water down here, this geyser, <laughs> we finally reached the limits of this geyser. And it kind of caused some issues in the uh, bathroom area. We basically didn't have enough water going over the bathrooms. This line here from the geyser used to go and feed all of these toilets. Uh, it wasn't enough, so they started peeing on the ground everywhere. So what I did was I took a line from over here which comes from this uh, sieve, water sieve. So this polluted water is kind of feeding our laboratories at the moment with clean water. So we finally hit the limit on that geyser. This one up here, I actually haven't taken a look at yet. It uh, seems to be okay at the moment. But I'm gonna need to get some oxygen from somewhere else I think I mean we can tap this polluted water and filter more of it but at some point uh, I think we're gonna have to come up with something else and what I've been thinking of doing is uh, using morbs and I might set up kind of a morb room right here because it's warm it's close to the base and it uh, doesn't have a lot of germs So I might set up some uh, outhouses in here. Unlock this door so they can get in. And start filtering. Don't really need to filter the air in here, but I will just for kicks. So we need a couple toilets in there and then, actually I think one outhouse will do it. We don't need a bunch of them. We'll let that fill up. And then once it's full, um, we should lock this door and we should get some morbs forming. Now I did some experiments with morbs uh, off camera and figured that roughly four morbs are enough to supply oxygen, uh, dirty oxygen, polluted oxygen for one dupe. And we, we probably want to cool down that uh, polluted oxygen as well to kill the germs. Look at them all in here. There's so many. <laughs> well, I guess they're picking up all this stuff. That's what they're doing, mostly. <laughs> so with my little morb experiment, uh, which I might release as a separate video, um, what I found was as long as the pressure doesn't build up above one kilogram per tile, they'll keep uh, putting out polluted oxygen. Let's set this out of order. Let's set this to priority nine. And hopefully they use this more than the uh, lavatories. Now we're gonna wanna pump the air out of here. So we need a gas pump. I should probably turn the speed up. I don't think the room has to be that big. So I might put another airlock in here. be right here. We do get all these suffocation warnings when we turn the speed up, which is kind of a bummer. Just make a regular floor right here. Along here. Okay, they're using it already, that's good. So we'll be getting lots of polluted oxygen here. We have to send it to a cold room. Now where should I do that? Let's find a place for it to go. We could just make a cold room using some wheeze warts. That might be the easiest thing to do. Or we could send it up into our cold area here. That would kill all the germs and then we'll eventually be sucking it out through all these pumps. I actually kind of like that idea. If I just dump it in here, that might work very well actually. It's going to require quite a bit of piping. Just putting in the wiring, I had a circuit here that's only using 
540 watts. So I'm just building a wire really messy <laughs> along here. Uh, and then down into this new room. I didn't want to use coal just so it would be kind of maintenance free. So that just basically suck everything out of this room and we should probably put some automation in. So we'll do a Atmos sensor. So if the pressure gets over maybe 800 grams, we'll start pulling it out. And I gotta make sure that they can't, that they don't empty this. So we got them, gotta get them to build this quickly. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna set this toilet priority one until we're all done building in here. Or actually I can disable it. Okay, we gotta send that polluted oxygen out, so let's build that. This is also gonna be a bit messy. We'll make a little service tunnel here. And here, and then cross over, come over here. Yeah, and dump it in here. And some more bridges here. So one here. Then one there. So they can actually breathe polluted oxygen. And when it hits this really cold temperature, the germs will die really fast. So you can just fall in here. And we could put a lot of filters in here as well. Now I don't know how many morbs we'll be able to get. Okay, that's done. Put in some bridges. Actually, I don't need a bridge there. Uh, I might as well bridge it over, actually. Oh, look at all these suffocations. That way, I have a bit of flexibility where we put it later. But for now, let's just do this. Who's suffocating? Anyone really suffocating? Nope, not really. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the game's getting too slow. Start getting random deaths here. Okay, is that all built now? I think it's safe to... Okay, what do we want this at? If the pressure is above, let's say 700 grams, then it'll kick in. Okay, two visits remaining. I'll have to time this just right. <laughs> New dupes available. Who do we have? Flatulent? Nope. Guess uh, Ada. Okay, here we go. The last visitor. Can't let anyone clean it. Where are you going? Nope, you get out of there. Nope, get out of there. <laughs> nope, they really want to clean that toilet. I guess it's priority nine. There we go, now it's locked. Now we should start getting morbs in there in a few cycles. We're kind of out of slime as well. Got some slime lung in here. I think it's safe to get a little bit of that out. Whoa, duplicates have died. Suffocated to death. Oh, he was stuck in there. He really was suffocating. Oh. <laughs> he was a loud sleeper. That's our first casualty in 662 cycles. Oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's too bad. 
We need a tasteful memorial. I haven't built one of these in a long time. Where are they even at? Uh, tasteful memorial. Guess we'll stick it in here, right where he died. So sad. See, with all the false positives, with the suffocation, it's easy to ignore him. Aww. I'll have to pay attention to this little area until they're finished. Don't want another death. I'm trying to get to 90 dupes. So almost finished this build here. This is the last piece. Look at May here, just standing around on the ladder. Oh, we got a lot of CO2 building up here. This is not good. Lots of oxygen available, just not down here. Just might need more oxygen production up here. Or I could just move the food production. I don't know why I have it here. I guess it's close to the meal lice. I could put it in here for now. Oh, the power situation. What a mess. Okay. That. <laughs> okay, yeah, we could use this circuit. There's one already on it. So, micro musher. Let's stick you right there. So, I'll come back uh, when we have it, the next dupe and when we start getting some morbs in our ba bathrooms down here. Don't have any yet. Might take a few cycles. So we got our next dupe uh, available. What do we have? Uh, narcoleptic strength. Sounds good. And let's see if we got a morb yet in the bathroom. What oh, we do? That didn't take very long. That was like one cycle. Or maybe two. Now, hopefully we get more. Well, just in the last kind of half cycle, the oxygen picture went from nice to not very nice. And I'm not sure what's happening. We have close to the same number of dupes. We might just need to route it a little bit better. But this area doesn't look very good at all. There's so much in here, but it's kind of freezing. It's not too bad temperature wise. We could put some airflow between here and here. Just let this seep in. Yeah, this down here looks terrible. Let's just try putting some airflow right here. See if that improves the picture a little bit. I think it might. Oh, I see what's going on. These oxidizers, electrolyzers are not working at all the heck? Oh, we're out of water. <laughs> that is the problem. One of them's disabled. Oh, that's from my from right before this playthrough. And one of them is out of water. So where did all the water go? It was... What the? Yeah, we're, we just used it all up. Okay. Oh, and this is almost gone too. Now I think the only thing on this is uh, two or one operating electrolyzer. Something messed up here. This looks backwards. Did I hook all this up wrong? Okay, let's. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this this is backwards. <laughs> What's going on here? What am I doing? Okay, that's gone. That should be going the other way. Feed this electrolyzer. Output. Yeah, I think that'll work. Oh, is that abyssalite? No, that's igneous rock. And then what's going on up here? This is all messed up. 
Okay, that's fixed. Let's fix that pipe. So it's going this way. There we go. Okay, so I messed up the piping when I rerouted this. I think what I was trying to do was get some clean water out of this filter to go off to our main area here. Yeah, that should improve things a lot. There we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at this area. Terrible. Suffocation, suffocation. Okay, let's try to enable this one too. Let's see if we have enough water for all that. We should. It's only one it's one geyser. It should be able to work more than two. Oh, there's one up here too. Oh, it's disabled though. I think that'll help. Yeah, you can see it working already. Okay, good. Problem solved for now. Oh, and food's below one million, so food's going down. Still got one morb in here. So I'll come back once we get the next duplicate, and we'll take a look at this area. Actually, I realized why everything is going really bad. It's because it's cycle 666. Once we get past this cycle, everything will be okay again. How are we looking over here? Oxygen, since the... Oh, it's getting better. That's good. And... We should have a new dupe any second now. 23 seconds. Do we get any morbs? Uh, no, just one still. There's our new dupe, number 85. I think Harold looks like our best bet. Oh, oxygen's a bit thin here too. I think I can turn this electrolyzer back on. Now where's that water coming from? That's from... Oh, we're out, of, we're out of water again. Look at that. Completely out. Wow. I still don't understand why one geyser can't power three electrolyzers. I really wanted to get to 100 dupes, but the game is like... It's really struggling. Gotta get to 90 first though. And food's going down. <laughs> okay, here comes that new fresh water from the sieve. Not much of it though. That should get this up and running again. There we go. Now that's backing up, so let's enable this one as well. It's looking good. Oh, look at the germs in that water. It might actually use this water at a faster rate than it's being produced. That would be good. We might even need another column of these sieves. Okay, we got dupe number 86 here. Noodle arms, noodle arms, loud sleeper. Hmm. Don't really like noodle arms, but Gotta take them all. I'm adding more uh, airflow here to let all this delicious oxygen from over here flow in, but it's a little bit cold over here. But we need the oxygen. They'll die without oxygen, they won't die if they get too cold. Oh weird, look at how cold the food is. <laughs> it's blue. I guess because they're making it out of frozen, really cold water? <laughs> This geyser is still not flowing. What is going on? Let's kill that. Yeah, something's wrong with this geyser. It seems broken. Let's try cracking this open. 
Let's see if we can get this thing working again. Oh, look at that. Maybe the pressure was too high. Interesting. It ran for 600 cycles. Maybe it's because it, all the water got depleted. That could have been an issue. We're doing some massive remodeling here. Emergency remodeling. Um, I'm kind of going to leave one little access point in here and then exp expand the grow room in this column here. And I'm also putting in exosuit docks and exosuit forge because we didn't have enough Atmos suits. And then once we have some suits made, hopefully this will fill up with oxygen. And I also put in some more power. So I'm kind of I'm going to duplicate this column here, which is filters and electrolyzers, because we got all this polluted water, and we're not even generating polluted water from this petroleum generator at the moment, and it's still building up. So more filters, more electrolyzers, just go in crazy with the oxygen. <laughs> and I added one more natural gas power plant up here. That's probably going to be the limit for the one geyser until I hook up another one, and we can put more power up here if we need it. And we're up to 87 dupes now. So I'll come back once we have the next dupe and once they've built this a bit. Okay, we got dupe number 88 here. I guess we'll go with an irritable bowel. Only two left to go in this episode. <laughs> okay, the groom is coming along here. Just gotta copy these settings. Got some natural gas in here, we're gonna maybe have to vent out. Guess we'll find out. Maybe the CO2 will be able to squish it out. How's our exosuit dock going? Uh, not much oxygen in them yet. Putting in even more electrolyzers here, so we can start using this uh, polluted water. I think this is slowly going down now, maybe. Actually, we have no place for this clean water to go yet. <laughs> there we go. So I'll come back once we get our next dupe. Okay, dupe number 89. Noodle arms, noodle arms, anemic. Oh, none of these are good. Guess we'll go with stinky. Only one to go. Now I've built a, an oxygen line here that's dedicated for our Atmos suits. And it's, I just finally hooked it up so it's, it should fill all these up. And then we can put the dock in or the uh, checkpoint. Once they're all full. Okay, I think it's safe to put a checkpoint in here now. These are all not completely full, but let's put a checkpoint right uh, right here. Now, hopefully that's enough suits for them to tend to these rooms here. Suffocating four. Mm. <laughs> False alarm. It's gonna make them less efficient because they have to stop it, turn, put on the suit, take off the suit. And you get this unreachable food, which is I think is a bug. They're trying to get food that's in here. Even though there's food over here that they can get. This is why the uh, this is why the exosuit dock doesn't quite work in this situation. What they should do is once they... Oh, they found new food. Okay, that's good. Maybe it's just the game's so bit lagged that they couldn't get to it. Okay, this is our last dupe. Dupe number 90. Oh, we got a decent one. 
bodybuilder. Welcome number 90. <laughs> You're all numbers now. And oxygen is not very good in here. So I made a few more changes off camera. I basically opened this all up so oxygen is just flowing directly in here. And I'll just expand oxygen production to fill this room. Filtering polluted water, putting it into electrolyzers. That way we don't have to pump it, it'll just passively <laughs> fill this whole room. We will pump some in, but uh, probably just make it all here and I'll put more gas pumps along the top here. You need a lot of uh, oxygen production for these guys. It actually might get a bit warm in here, but we got this anti-entropy nullifier. This should spread its coolness, especially if we use more uh, thermo shift plates. So that was a uh, that episode was a bit rough. It's getting harder to manage the lag and the dupes and the food and but I think I can push to 100, so save that for next episode. And I may be taking a short break just during the holidays, so if uh, you don't see videos coming out every day, that's the reason. But as always, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.